Hello, YouTube. I am at the Total Archery Challenge, and I'm currently sighting, or er, I'm serving my pee, and then I'm sighting in my bow, because I'm a procrastinator. And so, current situation. So thus far in sighting in, we've busted one arrow <laughs> and lost a fletching on another. So we've graduated to 20 yards though. So we're making progress. But this is part three of Allie's a mess. <laughs> Hot mess express over here, uh, checking in. <laughs> it's, it's about 3.30 and the lift closes at four. So we made it just in time to get up the mountain and we are going to shoot our first course. Um, all of my fletching, so like the glue that I used on these fletchings was not the right glue and all of my fletchings have been falling off like as I'm trying to sight in my bow. So I ran and just bought um, half a dozen arrows from um, one of the bow shops that were here and thankfully they had bows that or they had arrows that worked for me so um, we are finally going to make this happen I'm having fun and the people here so far are so sweet I got to see Ty from BHA who I wasn't expecting to see and I got to meet the fella who is part of the Pennsylvania chapter. So Nick and I are talking about ways that we can get more involved with that um, because I love BHA and now that I'm really splitting my time here in Pennsylvania and out west, um, you know, it's, it's important to be involved out here. Uh, Black Panther, 27.5. Target one. Mine was. <laughs> Ooh, his was. Huh. We equally sucked. Right. Mine was low. Nick's was high. Ooh, ho, ho. interesting. Literally, like same scenario again. Did I mention that <laughs> neither of us have shot in a while? So this target is it's looking like either some descriptor of a wolf or a hog. I'm betting 45 yards on this one. 37. Numero tres. Um, this is the the hog the hog wolf hybrid. Oh, it's a wolf. Hmm. Complete mess today. My bow is not set up. My fletchings were coming off. I had to buy new arrows. I still haven't finished sighting in my bow. <laughs> But I'm going with it. I'm rolling with it. And so far I'm having a lot of fun, so. I do not recommend shooting an archery course with a bow that you did not sight it. Um, but if you do find yourself in this kind of predicament for whatever reason, um, this is <laughs> sort of me showing you guys how, how I'm moving through this. I'm basically just free balling it. Um, I have an idea of like where, um, you know where the site is hitting based upon where I move the pin so let me show you this site that I have on here it's a single pin um, so where it's at right now I'm hitting I would say it's about at 40 yards and then I just adjust it um, up and down relative to like whatever target um, whatever target I'm shooting so obviously if it's a closer 
like if it's closer than 40 yards, um, I adjust the sight. And so far it's been working pretty well. I mean, obviously I would never hunt with a bow like this, but strictly speaking just for today, it's kind of working. It's kind of fun because I'm like, ooh, and I have to estimate, you know, where to put. I'm lying. It's not fun, but I'm making it fun. You don't want to, you don't want to do this. Use me as an example of what not to do right now. Um, but, but so far it's going good, you know, free balling at the total archery challenge and just, you know, just letting it happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this target is an antelope and it is a, well, wait, first let me guess, uh, 30 yards, 32. Um, but anyways, this is a woodland lope <laughs> or a timber lope, the elusive timber lope. Um, when I was out west hunting antelope last year, me and the folks at the office would joke about like hunting the elusive timber lope. And this guy is giving me flashbacks. Okay, 32 yards. Um, so Nick had a great shot. I'm still shooting right, but I'm actually very pleased with my up and down. So in this circumstance, I am going to adjust my sight, um, my left and right, but in a normal circumstance, like your bow would already be sighted in. Okay. 33. <laughs> oh, Mr. Brown Bear. Hey, buddy. I am continuing my theme of shooting right. Hold that guy. Meet me. I really like the way this side adjusts. But it works. So this guy is at 55 yards. I think that pretty much went where I wanted to go. Oh yeah. Damn, I hope that didn't break. It probably did. You can see all of the <laughs> field tips that people just unscrewed their arrow and took. That's funny. This was a 55 yard shot, so not surprised. A lot of folks were, were missing. Kind of happy with mine. My right and left is a lot more um, it's a lot closer than how it was before I adjusted the site. So that's good news. And I'm estimating somewhat well. And all of these are just one shots. Like it's not a true grouping reading. So it's a little bit harder for me to tell, but yeah. So this target, they're so evil. This guy is sitting on the edge of some water. So it's only a 20 yard shot, but if you miss, your arrow's going in, in the lake. Oh, 24 yards. Go, 25. Free balling. I need an arrow. <laughs> I know, so I was sending, I was aiming basically for the center of the fish, which almost got to. Nick's were a little bit high, but what he was just saying, which I actually totally agree with, and this is something that can happen, um, you know, when you're shooting at an animal, so this is a very realistic um, kind of struggle, is not having a, a like distinct spot to shoot at. You're kind of just aiming center mass or right behind the shoulder or, you know, depending on what animal you're hunting. Um, and that's what, even though this target was 25 yards, which is close for what we're doing, um, he was saying, you know, it's difficult because you don't really have a spot to aim. This is clearly my first time using this bow. Um, but 
what I'm noticing, I, I don't really love the way that I'm drawing it back. Draw weight's probably a little bit too heavy right now. There's just, I, I don't know, it feels like a lot of like front load on it, but then once it's at full draw, like I love the way that this thing is shooting. I like it a lot. So I think I'm gonna decrease my poundage a little bit. Um, and then I think that like this will be a really good, a really good bow to shoot. So Nick's shot was pretty much I mean, almost right on the money. That was a great shot. Mine, I've got a, a, a decent little group going. Oh, this is a hog too. This is cool. Nick and I are gonna be in Florida, in Jupiter, Florida, um, in a couple of weeks. We're trying to go hog hunting. So I know I said this in my last video, but if you have any like hog hunting outfitters or um, fishing charters in like the Jupiter, Florida, or Miami area, let us know. Hopefully, I'll hit this pig good, and this will be like an omen to what's going to happen in Florida. It's a little bit lower than I wanted, but that was actually like not that far off. Good? Right in the middle. So that's uh, 45 yards um, and so mine went lower than I wanted but that that is where I was aiming I was aiming like center mass um, Nick was kind of doing the same I think wh where did you want yours to go yeah that was kind of where I was aiming too total archery challenge 2017 was a great, great success. It was actually quite, um, quite a, a cluster, a cluster mess on my end. Um, but the course was really fun. The course that we did was Mountain Ops course, and it was quite long. I think there were 20 some targets. They had a lot of different targets um, at various ranges. They did a lot with the trees. So the like vitals would be like right next to you know a, a tree that you would have to like get past. Um, I lost one arrow, and considering my free ballinness, I think that's pretty damn good. Nick actually shot quite well, and it was fun. So if I have any tips, it would be to bring food and water, which like we knew, like we've done archery courses before, we know that they're long, but we just weren't thinking. Obviously I was very unprepared today. Um, bring food, bring water. For this particular course, we just have tennis shoes on. If you are somewhere like out west where it's very mountainous, actually wearing your hiking boots would be a good call, or if you have like trail running shoes, that would be good. Tennis shoes work just fine for us today. Um, I put sunscreen on a little bit too late. I think I got a little bit burnt. Um, I did have my like archery repair kit with me, which I don't know if you saw, I posted a photo on Instagram the other day from last year when we were shooting the course out. It was actually the Northwest Mountain Challenge out in Tamarack. Nick's D-loop snapped and we had to repair it. I repaired it on the mountain, which is kind of cool to put those skills to use but always have something, some kind of repair kit with you just in case, because they are long. Like you might be three hours into your course or two hours into your course, and if something breaks or something happens, you're out of luck. So that's it. So we're cruising down to the bottom now, and we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and wrap up the day. I also wanna thank the folks at Total Archery Challenge. They have been so sweet today. Everybody who I've talked to today has been really nice. I felt like they really went out of their way to make sure people knew like where to go and what courses to choose based upon like your skill level or you know how long you wanted to be out on the mountain. So like props to them. They did a really great job. I would highly, highly recommend the Total Archery Challenge 
probably anywhere. I mean, obviously, this is my first time here in Pennsylvania doing it. But it was great. 